Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up, quickly set up multiplayer networking in uh, Humanoid Control. So in this case we have a basic single player scene which you want to transform in a multiplayer scene. So the basic thing you can do is enable the correct networking uh, support. In the edit menu, preferences of Humanoid, you will find a line networking support. And you can set that to Unity Networking or Photo Networking, which I'm going to show you both. Um, photo Networking is only available when you have uh, imported the Photo Networking support into your scene from the Asset Store. So I start with that. So I haven't changed anything in my scene, I just selected Photo Networking. And in the background, you already see that things are changing. So through our humanoid, I now see a photo view which is actually implementing the networking stuff. And besides that, we also have an, annex, an extra option called networking remote avatar. And this is the avatar the other players can see in a multiplayer setup. So for example, in this case, my avatar doesn't have a head because it doesn't need to be rendered, but other people will want to see a head. So in, for that reason, I'm going to use a different avatar for that. So I go to the project, and in the characters uh, folder, you will find a number of uh, examples. I'm going to use the third person avatar. So now other people will see this third person with that uh, avatar instead of my first person avatar. So basically, this is already uh, doing a lot for you, but you only need to add one more prefab to your scene, which is the networking starter which you will find in the Humanoid Prefabs Networking folder. And there you have the networking starter. So this is actually uh, doing all the heavy lifting for you. So it's, uh, it's turning a send rate, an update rate, and a room and a game version for the, the environment you are in. And, uh, but this is actually everything you need to do. That doesn't seem to be changing a lot, but in this case, it's a single player in a multiplayer net, uh, environment. So for the other player, I'm going to make a build. So in build settings, I'm going to build the current scene, tutorial. So uh, I have a uh, virtual machine in the background, which is actually accessing the same folder. So this is the build I just created. And now I can execute this build, play it. And in the same time, I can start my editor here. And now you see that I have two players. This is the one I'm controlling with my controller right now. And this is the other one. It's actually the one here in my virtual machine. So when I put them next to each other, you will see that everything is synchronized. So that's basically all you have to do. So there's no worries about uh, prefabs and so on. Uh, everything is taken care of automatically. You just use your normal uh, single player uh, avatar as a starting point. When we go to uh, the Unity networking, it's basically the same. So instead of Photon networking in the preferences, we select Unity networking. So it's recompiling us uh, stuff a bit. And in the background, you su should see things will be changing. And yes, so the humanoid, instead of photo view, now has a network identity. And when we go to the networking starter, we see now that it has a network manager. And I can show you something uh, which is happening in the, in the background. Because the networking starter, as you may know, needs a player prefab to be uh, to be uh, spawned in the network. So in this case, it's the humanoid pre prefab. And we go to the project, you will see that the humanoid pre pre prefab is found in the prefabs networking resources uh, section. And the, the nice thing about this prefab is it's automatically generated from your humanoid in your scene. So when your humanoid in the scene has, uh, for example, physics deselected, 
then and it's automatically this prefab is automatic uh, is updated with physics deselected. So this is also in the prefab you can use in other spawning methods, like for example with the networking hot uh, solution I showed in the instant VR uh, solution. There's one important thing I need to tell you. By default, we use the cloud server for Unity networking. However, cloud server is using the new networking Unity server, we include in, usually in uh, combination with the free server. The free service of Unity has a very low bandwidth limit of four kilobytes per player. And although it works with the, uh, the cloud server, you will see that when you add more communication to your scene, then you will run into timeout problems or disconnections. And that's basically, uh, that is caused by uh, the uh, bandwidth limit of Unity networking. So if you want to have a virtual reality scene set up with humanoid people, I uh, recommend using your own server include, uh, or uh, uh, using a paid subscription for the multiplayer setup. But with your own server, instead of you, uh, uh, naming a room or a game version, you just use the server IP address. And that's basically the main computer to which all the clients can connect. And you need to enter the IP address. And in this case, I'm using this computer with, uh, I hope, 83? I can't remember. So I go to uh, command. IP config and then it's 86. 86. Okay, so 86 is my IP address. And now it will recognize automatically that when I'm at number 86, I'm the host, I'm the server, and the other clients will connect to that. So now I can generate a build for using Unity Networking. Replace it because the old one was the photo networking version. And again, this is the new build. I can start server, yeah, walk around, run around, and now it's my virtual PC with the new build. Now it will connect directly without using the internet with my. Uh, and my server on the local networking. So you will get a higher bandwidth and uh, lower latencies for the best solution for that. So that's basically a, a quick introduction for uh, networking with humanoid control. As you can see, it's uh, quite easy to set up. You just select the, uh, the correct networking support, add the networking starter, May configure some some uh, some things on the, the script. Uh, by chance, you can also use the remote avatar. You could could have seen it in the video. I forgot to mention it, but you saw that uh, the avatar in the other screen has an head instead of my avatar, which doesn't have it. So you can actually use to totally different avatars, but it doesn't make really sense. So if you have any suggestions in, or issues, don't hesitate to contact me because I'm very willing to help you forward with this. And uh, I wish you good luck with implementing multiplayer networking.